go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna do a little deep dive into Gladiator here. Uh, Gladiator came into the contest uh, not too long ago, and to say he was not well received was an understatement. Uh, he was the Summoner's Choice and. A lot of us remember back in the day when we first heard about Gladiator, when he tossed Juggernaut uh, on the old X-Men uh, cartoon. And we were very disappointed in seeing his performance. Well, Kabam was also disappointed, and so they buffed him. Now, I never looked into his old kit. I just knew that he performed terribly, and a lot of people just did not like him. After his buff, I noticed people actually using him, taking him up. And I'm like, well, I guess his buff was good. Still didn't look into it. And then uh, in Alliance War, uh, I was looking for a counter to Red Skull, specifically on the first node in Section 2, Path 3. And I was very surprised to see that Gladiator might be a good option. And so I looked a little bit more into him. And long story short, as you can see, my Gladiator is ranked three. He's Sig 90. And I will be putting every Sig Stone that I can into him. And we're about to look at why. All right. So first thing I want to do is look at the synergy bonuses. I love doing that. And here is something that perhaps a lot of people don't know, but just having Gladiator on the team gives all of your other champions 5% attack rating and 5% armor rating. So this is a synergy he has with himself. Then you have this enemy's synergy. And I like to look at who the synergy is with, you know, because if it's with somebody that I'm not going to be using anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, and some of them are pretty good. I could see myself bringing Havoc for sure. Um, Medusa, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But in any case, it just gives you more critical rating. All right, now we've got Punk's Pizzazz. And Spider-Punk, I am not really all that enthused. Maybe he will also get a buff. But the other two are fairly decent, okay? Heavy attacks are passively unblockable if Gladiator is alive. And they gain 10% attack rating if Sorcerer Supreme is alive. 750 critical rating if Hulk Ragnarok is alive. And 400 critical damage rating if Spider-Punk is alive. So that's an interesting synergy. Uh, I don't think I would bring any of these three on the team just for that synergy, though. All right, now we've got <laughs> Flarkin Annihilators. And to be fair, none of these look like uh, a champ that I would bring. I'm not sure who the question mark is, but when gaining a bar of power, you gain a non-stacking 5% fury. That's pretty nice. That's going to give you more damage. Okay. And each synergy champion increases this potency. So I guess that's 15 with a potential of 20 percent more fury potency so basically more damage okay 
Let's see. Great guys. Uh, that's the last synergy. Now, this synergy has Hyperion. So that right there is already good. Um, the other two, not so much. Uh, while far away from the opponent, gain an indefinite unstoppable buff. This buff will not trigger while being struck by the opponent and is removed if either champion re-enters striking distance. All right. So you have an unstoppable, which could help you with, I guess, uh, when they fire a special off from across the screen, because once you get close to them again, it goes away. So that's an interesting one. But again, I would not bring anyone just for that buff. But Hyperion is a champ that I would bring anyway, you know. So they're okay synergies. Um, to be fair, it's this first synergy that I think is the best and you don't need any synergy, uh, partners. Okay. Now let's take a look at his signature ability and you'll see why I want him higher up. Okay. Winning a fight as an attacker with more than 71% health. And I'm assuming that's going down. Um, so the threshold is greater, uh, health adds four to gladiators, persistent confidence limit. All right. Now this here, the first one is not why I am taking his SIG level up. That's nice though, per fight. If you're doing like a gladiator run and you're fighting multiple fights, it's a way of ramping him up a little bit, okay? It's the second one that, for me, is the important one. He starts each fight with a vigilance buff for, right now, it's 9.5 seconds. That goes up. This is why I want, I want that vigilance buff to last as long as possible initially, okay? Why? Let's keep reading. While benefiting from a personal vigilance effect, all hits deal passive true damage. So he's going to do a lot of more damage. You know, a lot, well, I guess, yeah, a lot of damage, more damage uh, in the beginning while he has that vigilance. And the longer it lasts, the more damage he will be able to do initially. And get this, the opponent's armor up effects suffer 100% reduced ability accuracy. What that means is that for champions that don't have an elevated armor up um, ability accuracy or any ability accuracy uh, boost, he's going to shut them down. So I'll give you two examples. And if you ever wonder why Kabam uses like 100% instead of just saying it's going to reduce it. This is why. It's the way they handle it. Because if somebody has 150% ability accuracy, then this only reduces it by 100. So they still have 50% chance to have their ability, whatever it is, fire off. Okay. Now, I went in against Red Skull and it shut down his initial armor ups. That helped a ton because when he doesn't have any armor ups and they place him on that node in section uh, th uh, two, path three, he's not gonna have to worry about the fact that he's not bleed immune because if they don't have an armor up, he doesn't get bled and he rocks. All right, now, we're gonna keep going and you're gonna see another reason I want to have his SIG level as high as possible, all right? But the other um, example is uh, Viv Vision. She gets a ton of uh, um, armor ups. And when I went in against her, some of her armor ups did fail, but some did not. So she still had a few armor ups. That is the power of the 100% versus someone who has 
you know, a greater ability accuracy. All right. So um, always active. Um, he's got 200% increased C. This is one of the cases I'm talking about. He has 200% increased ability accuracy to personal buffs, plus an immunity to power drain and power burn. Path three, section one, is all about that power drain and power burn. So when I saw all this, I'm like, wait a minute, this guy might be really good for my path. When they ban, which I knew they were going to keep banning him, and now he's globally banned, uh, Corvus. So I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to have to take this guy up, which I did. So he has 200%. So if he goes up against someone else that reduces the ability accuracy by, by 100%, he's still going to get his buffs. They would have to decrease the ability accuracy by more than 200% to shut him down. Okay? His personal damage over time effects cannot have their durations changed. All right? His heavy attack after landing a non-combo ending basic inflicts a stun. If you're not familiar with Wasp, uh, Silk, uh, America Chavez, then you have to understand that going in, you can do like a three-hit combo, and you can combo right into a heavy attack because they will be stunned. It's only 0 0.6 seconds, but that's enough. So it's basically the same as those three I mentioned. I don't know uh, who else has this ability, but I know those uh, three have it. Now, on hit, while the opponent has less than two bars of power, inflict a non-stacking 30% intimidate debuff for two and a half seconds it's paused each time gladiator dashes forward strikes the opponent or hits their block so if you want to keep stacking these intimidate you want to be as aggressive as you can so run at them hit them with a, a you know one two maybe three hit combo heavy attack, or you could just hit them once with a heavy attack and then keep going. And whether you're hitting the block or whether you're hitting them, you're going to be building up Intimidate. And you're going to see why we, we kind of want that. Okay. Confidence buffs. He has a max limit of 25. That can change. Buffs are indefinite. Okay. His confidence buffs are indefinite and have 5% potency. It's increased by 1% flat when fighting on a final boss uh, node. Okay? And once you hit the limit, and you notice that the confidence limit is not in the regular color text, that tells you something. Striking the opponent with a heavy grants two confident buffs. And then while the opponent is suffering from Gladiator's personal intimidate, so you got two and a half seconds each intimidate. You're going to gain one confidence. And remember, it'll pause. So basically be aggressive and build up your confidence. As a defender, one confidence deep, uh, buff every two seconds. Knocked down by a special. Okay. Uh, pauses it. When struck by any attack other than the final hit of a special attack, remove one confidence buff. So basically don't get hit. When struck by the final hit of a special, remove four confidence. So again, don't get hit. But check this out, and this is going to be important later. Um, this removal will not trigger while Gladiator is unstoppable. Put a pin in that. Remember it. Let's keep going. All right, super confidence. This is when you have more than 10 confidence, which is very easy to uh, get. All right, you're going to gain, uh, gain an emboldened passive for five seconds, paused until the end of the special attack. Okay, striking the opponent with a heavy grants an unblockable buff for two seconds. Okay, this is when you have 10 or more confidence. Paused when, uh, paused during gladiator special attacks. 
Okay, cooldown is five seconds unless Gladiator does not strike the opponent. Okay, while benefiting from an unblockable buff, heavy and special attacks deal an additional 90% of the damage recently dealt as a burst of energy damage. Okay, remember this because it's going to be important later. Ultra confidence is when he has 20 or more. Personal unstoppable buffs are paused during the opponent's special attacks. Combine this. Remember, he's unstoppable. Remember what unstoppable does for him? Now, with 20 or more, okay, when they fire their special, his unstoppable is paused. That means that he will be uh, unstoppable all through their special attack, okay? While this pause is active, Gladiator is immune to the opponent's stun effect. So if they have a special that will stun you, he's immune. While attacking the opponent within striking distance, during or immediately after their special attacks, incoming damage from hits is reduced by 80% and basic attacks deal bursts of 11,906 energy damage. That is nasty. So basically, you want to strike your opponent while he's firing a special while you are unstoppable. Okay? We're going to practice that uh, later. Now, his special one gains him an unstoppable for two for four seconds paused until the end of the special attack so he's going to have four seconds after he ends okay while this unstoppable is active he cannot lose confidence during special attacks or on basic attacks during ultra confidence each frost be breath hit <clears throat> inflicts a cold snap debuff which also deals damage over 12 seconds and as a defender, cold snaps can be inflicted through block. Okay, but it's, uh, it'll do less damage. Special two. Now here, gain a vigilance buff for 20 seconds. Paused until the end of the special attack. Each I-beam hit inflicts an incinerate, dealing 11,906. So that incinerate does the same amount of damage as striking your opponent. However, this one does that damage over 20 seconds, whereas this is just doing that damage. Every basic hit. Okay? Now, this is why I want his SIG ability up. Right now, I have what was it, 9.5 seconds to have my personal vigilance initially. I need to get to a special two to get the 22nd one. So the longer my personal vigilance will last, the more time I have to get to a special two. That's important when I'm fighting in section uh, two, path three, because if they get an armor up, then I'm subject to whatever the node is going to do to me. Shock, bleed, what have you. So right now, what I usually do is start with an advanced power boost so that I start with um, one bar of power and then I race to a special two, fire that off, and then I'm usually good for the rest of the fight. And if I put on power back boost, I'll go right back to a special two and I'm golden. All right. But I want his SIG higher because eventually I won't need to use an advanced power boost and I'll be able to use a different boost. Now we got special three. The special three, remember I told you about the confidence limit? A special three will increase the confidence limit by four. Okay. You only need it to trigger once, but it's only going to do once per fight. All right, gain a power gain buff, granting 100% of a bar of power over five seconds. 
So that is Gladiator. And what I have seen, and I need more practice, and we're going to do a little bit of fighting, you know, very quick, um, with Gladiator in Realm of Legends. But the one thing I want to learn how to do is that fire a special one, get the unstoppable, bait out their special attack, and then attack into it and do some damage. I want to practice that, okay? But anyway, uh, let's get to Realm of Legends and play around a little bit with uh, Gladiator. All right, let's head on in. And I want you to remember I am an amateur, complete novice at using Gladiator, okay? I fought with him in war and all that good stuff, but this was the first time I'm actually going through his kit completely. And because I do run the recoil masteries, I don't tend to fire off specials very often. Okay, so we're gonna first try to build up his confidence. Oh, I love it when the AI does this. Look at this, guys. AI don't wanna fight. All right, bam. All right, now, see my confidence building? But it took so long that it uh, ran out. So I need to build it up again. Okay, that time I got him quick. All right, fire up the special one. Okay. I want to build up more confidence. But look at his damage already. Look at the damage. Now, if I fire a special two, I get that vigilance. Look at the damage. Am I going to be able to... All right, let's get that. Okay, so I've got 25 confidence, but he's almost done. Wow. Okay. I need to apparently tone it down a bit. Let's, um... Let's try her. And I may... If I'm going to really get a good practice, then I may have to go into, um... Labyrinth of Legends, maybe. All right, so one hit, stun, hit into the block. Okay, one hit, stun, hit into the block. Heavy attack. See, all of that, got to get used to um, doing the heavy attack. Okay. Ran out, but that's fine. Okay. All right, 20, 24. Let me just, uh, wow. I took my finger off and hit my special three and you saw what she did. Very interesting. Okay, so now my confidence has gone up, all right? The confidence uh, limit. See, now it's 30. All right, now what I want to do is fire the special one. Okay. Come on. All right, I got a chance to hit her a little bit, but this special is not really conducive to that. But that's pretty much how you have to do it. Um, and you can see what's taking most of my health, the Liquid Courage, because he's not very uh, recoil mastery, uh, <clears throat> mastery friendly. Okay. But anyway, that was a, a little showcase. You can see how much of a beast he is right now. I mean, that is insane.
All right. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about Gladiator? Leave a comment. Do you have any tips and tricks? All right. But take care. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown